Hey, what's up guys? It's Richie from Jailbreak Overlander and it is almost 7.30 mounted time and once again, once again, I'm with Rory Irish and we are heading to a very, well, some people call it the top of the world. <coughs> well, that's the trail name. It's the trail name. And we are back with another old school trail mater recovery video. This video is from 2018 and we're not going to the top of the world. While looking for that footage, I came across this footage and this footage was no joke. Out of all the recoveries I've done in Trail Mater, this was the most dramatic by far. And I have miles of recovery footage videos and this one is a doozy. This was a standoff, a front end collision that got ugly. It was a high-speed crash. Somebody tried to take off. Somebody else drew his gun, and it was hectic when Rory and I got there. And oddly, the people that tried to take off knew who I was from YouTube, so that was weird. This was definitely the most high-drama recovery I had ever been on with Rory. So if you want to see what happened, you're going to want to sit back, you're going to want to relax, and you're most definitely going to want to check this out. <laughs> And before we start this video, I'm going to remind you to hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell so you get notified of all new videos. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Here we go. <laughs> So let me set the table for you. This is the location of this particular head-on collision. And I'll show you exactly the road that we had to go down. It was dicey. As far as trails that this particular incident occurred on, it was called Onion Creek Road. Now there's the river right there. There's the highway. And you come on to Onion Creek. And you'll notice that it's very 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 curvy you see all these real sharp lefts and rights no big deal not very technical whatsoever at all but a lot of people find it a great place to go fast and especially at night and that was the exact case on this particular trail during the day it's beautiful it's scenic but doing 45 miles an hour following somebody's taillights in your land cruiser in the dark totally different story pulling out not one but two wrecked vehicles a toyota and a jeep priceless and you'll notice that the accident occurred about if memory serves right about here so they were all the way down onion creek no joke now as far as a four-wheeling trail Onion Creek isn't difficult at all. It's actually very scenic. It's just very twisty and turny, and there's lots and lots of steep drop-offs, especially at night. Now, I've been in the passenger seat of Trail Mater many times, even when the 454 was in full effect and we were sideways on the edge of a cliff. Yeah, that happens. It's all part of being the cameraman. Here's what that looked like in real time. With the sun going down and darkness setting in, Rory
Murray tried to make up for lost time every place we possibly could. Like this. But on this night, I was going to be following Rory in initially and then following him out and setting up ahead of time with cameras, etc. The usual boring YouTube stuff that you guys don't get to see. But it was dark and it was a long job. Two vehicles and two sets of people to deal with. And neither one of these people were happy. So let's start at the beginning, shall we? Here we go. Bringing out the world's most extreme tow truck and argu arguably one of the best drivers on the rocks in a tow truck in America. She is live. Airing down my tires because this is going to be serious. So this is the road that we took. It's not a very complicated, it's not a very dangerous road during the day or even for off-roading. It's just a long, winding road. But at night, this is an entirely different animal. Now the video I have driving in, following Rory at 45 to 50 miles an hour through the hills, the curves, the water, the dust, it's about 25 minutes long. I'm not gonna run that whole thing here, but I may upload it separately if you wanna sit and watch the entire ride in, me chasing the tow truck in my Land Cruiser. Half the time I can't see from the dust that Trail Mater's kicking up, the other time, you're hitting water, and then there's these sharp right-hand turns that, if you've never done the trail before, you don't know they were there. So the road in was 20 minutes of driving at 40 to 50 miles an hour to get there because these guys were highly stressed out, and from what we had heard, there was a dramatic standoff going on as one participant tried to escape. So after 25 minutes of driving, crossing 16 to 20 river crossings, twists, turns, all sorts of stuff, and trying to keep my eye on Rory's taillights, he did stop every once in a while to let me catch up, but then took off again. Again, I didn't know this road. So after all this, we finally make our way to the scene of the accident. And boy, is it strange. Very, very strange. Both parties are denying responsibility, even though we can look at the damage on the vehicles and tell that both were on the wrong side of the road and speeding. And the guy in the Forerunner tried to take off, and the guy in the really expensive built Jeep allegedly pulled his weapon at one point before we arrived to keep the other guy from fleeing. And the funny thing is, is the guy's got no vehicle anymore, so he's going to flee, but... It's 25 minutes at 45 miles an hour to the closest road, which is still 15 miles to town. So it would have been a long walk, and he wasn't alone. Here we go. What's up, Richie? What's going on, guys? How's it going? Not too bad, not too bad. How's it going? Eight and a half miles in. Adam. Oh, eight and a half? Eight and a half. Yeah, we came up here quick, man. You guys were fucking... Yeah, we were. This is the sickest fucking link. This is the sickest tow truck you've right? ever seen. Like, Look at this shit. You guys killed each other. <laughs> All right. This is Richie from Boston. I am with Rory Irish from Moab Motorsports. This Rubicon is trashed. Son of a bitch. Rory will get him out. Everybody's good. Nobody's hurt. We already knew that. What's the big one? Just something. Well, what if something happens on the way down? This is so awesome. Oh, it's no. 
This is a great trail. I mean, we just did it in like seven minutes, but I'm coming back tomorrow. I love the water crossings. It's like back home. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, man. You guys from out of town? Oh, uh, yeah. Bay Area. Jesus, look at this. Hey, at least you didn't get hurt, man. All the metal. I gotta tell you, man, I was in the passenger seat of that. All the metal's replaceable. Yep, yep. I was in the passenger seat of that. Everybody's good. Nobody needs first aid? Nope, no, they're good. Okay. Oh, shit. I mean, there were the kids in the other car. They're fine. They're fine. Yeah. Who was, uh, who was, I'm gonna guess that one was the one that crossed over? Yeah. Because usually we know what we're doing. Yeah. I can, yeah, I got a little video, bro. No, we got video. All right. I was, I was filming from the past. Recently. All right. Rory, don't fuck around. Take full responsibility. Should I follow or do you want me to wait? What's better? Uh. Is it pretty bad to leave this thing out here? No. In BLM land? Be a what? BLM, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to leave your shit out here, man. Why is that? Yeah, but I mean, like, overnight's not a big deal. Overnight? Yeah. But I mean, we'll we'll have it out tonight. I'm just saying, you know. Like, it's not a big problem for you to come back back tonight instead of tomorrow. No, no, no. We wouldn't leave you here, dude. That's All right. you're in. Yeah, you don't want that. You're, I'm not. This I'm is, not trying to judge is, you guys. I'm just. No, no, I know no. You we're guys yeah, out we're not here. This is your business. We don't worry about judging. That ain't us. <laughs> no. Good. Good. Wouldn't leave another dude stranded in the woods. It don't work like that. I love it. I'd pull you out if I had to. But boy, what did you drag. <laughs> what a trail, huh? Yeah, it's gotta be some nice. I was trying to stay on your ass, but the dust was too much, man. Right. In that one corner back there, I can't believe you, because you were rolling. You were rolling. <laughs> this shit happens. You guys see a lot of this shit, does he? Yeah. But this is the video on YouTube of the uh, what did I title it? The most extreme tow truck in the world does the escalator backwards real quick. I was afraid to do it in that, and he's like, "Just do this. Watch this." Can, can we help in any way? Right? No, I'm good. I'm just trying to figure out how to rig her up. Okay. If you need a flashlight or anything, you'll yeah, I got straps too, Rory. I got two sets of straps. Oh, well, I got plenty of those. Just figure out how to. Rig it up. You want to flood under there? No. Okay. Jesus, what a nice rig. Oh, hold on. Got a spring. I got it. Unbelievable accident. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Young guys on the wrong side of the road nailed each nailed this other Jeep. Unbelievable. Nobody's hurt. Everybody's good. I think I'm blocking the road. Pick the tire. And she's a Land Cruiser like Jeep. She's heavy. Now this video goes back to 2018 when Trailmater was only on a single set of 37s and was not yet sponsored by BF Goodrich. Rory hadn't done the modifications that the truck's got now and this was a heavy Jeep and he still got it up in the air and still got her out of there. One down. While he pulled the Jeep out, I waited up top with the fellas, kinda, sorta, to make sure the Forerunner boys didn't try to make another escape. The man with the Jeep and the cowboy hat was the one that was considering or did draw down at some point because that's what the young fellas told us. So it was very tense up there and it seemed like a good idea for me to hang out while Rory took the first truck down. And that is what I did. So an hour and 10 minutes later, he's already back up the mountain, 8.5 miles, and the mountain is no joke. The trail in the dark is no joke. And he's already got the other vehicle hooked up and we're ready to take it down right now.
Could have been worse. Let me pull it up on it. Well, what's it in? Is it in park? It's neutral. And I put the, I put the, the lever back to. This yeah. is the most extreme tow truck in the United States. Sorry, fellas. It just is. One works, so that's good. <laughs> the first Jeep went up on the lift, no problem. This one, he's having to do quite a bit of work to get it up safely. Much heavier, wasn't it? Yeah, quite a bit. How so, bad? How bad was it bringing it down? Down? Yeah, because I mean down. there was a lot of steep and grades. Down wasn't bad right here. Um, I missed that one, that creek crossing with the big hole that I warned you about coming up. I drove right into it. Oh. I totally spaced it, drove right into it, slammed right through there. He bounced around, but nothing major. And he's on the wreckers, or another one down there? No, I'll we'll put this on the trailer behind this. That's what I thought. I told yeah. him that it could be. Yeah, we'll crawl it all on together. All right. He's staying at Big Bend. Gotcha. So we just went right by that. Get up there, Richie. Say again? That brake line, how's that looking up there? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're good. It's not squirting. What's up? It's not squirting, it's good. Right, cool. So. Yeah, the brakes aren't gonna be great because we already lost a lot of fluid. I got some fluid if that helps. You do? I do. Open up. I don't know if the hood's gonna open, open Rory. I tried earlier. Did you? Yeah. yeah. This is some serious damage. This and the Jeep took this, just about the same damage either side. If you can get that, all right, hold up. I got some brake fluid. Cool. But, uh, like, all right. and then, I can then you can kind of see me if I'm, if I'm waving, but you'll see my brake lights come on. Yeah. Okay. And just when I really start putting on them, like I said, it's just on the downhills. Right. The really steep stuff, I just need you to help it. Help hold me back. Like you don't have to stop me or anything. I told, I warned him yeah, not just to. A, just yeah. a little bit of drag, just so that when I come into a corner, yeah, it well, it doesn't push the right. ass end around. Right. And that's the only thing. Like I said, once we get down into the bottom and we're on the creek crossings, it'll it'll be just you'll just be hanging out right. Yep. If he gets you too close to something, he's got you. Don't slam yeah. the brakes on. He believe me. I told him already. I'll he's got you. Him, yeah. Like I said, follow me. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Want to turn it on so nothing? Dad, Just leave it. Yeah, we'll have bigger issues if you, if you run it because, like I said, it's out of antifreeze and everything. Yeah, yeah, just, right, yeah, just, just leave it dead. You Neutral. So with the Jeep already down the mountain and loaded on the flatbed, Rory made his way back up and hooked up to the Toyota 4Runner. Now I'm following him down the same trail that we just came up and as you can see it's dark and as you can see there's good sized drop offs on the on the left hand side but those are going to get exponentially worse this was a seriously long recovery and i don't do these things for money or for anything everyone already knew who i was i did these videos simply and only to promote rory's channel promote his shop and promote his truck and over the years, it appears that it began to work. I love doing this stuff. I absolutely love it. And every time I got to Moab, I'd say, if you've got a recovery, let me know. And almost every time, there'd not be, there, don't, there wouldn't be just one recovery. But there'd be two, three, four, sometimes all in one day. So it was absolutely crazy. But it was awesome stuff. 
And because of the legal wrangling that went on with this, I had to wait a few years before I could load this up. So it took a while. But it's nice watching Rory back in the old days. You know what I'm saying? You might. One o'clock in the morning. This is the second vehicle out of a head-on collision on the trail. This is the second truck he's taken down tonight. The Jeep I didn't follow because I stayed there with the other guy because he was still clearly in shock. But the kid that's being towed right now was on the wrong side of the road and nailed the other guys. And it appears that he probably totaled both vehicles. It was a serious head-on collision. I mean, I couldn't believe it. And this is Onion Creek Road, and it's listed as an easy trail. Well, it's easy, as long as you know how to four-wheel drive. If not, you're probably going to nail somebody, and that's exactly what happened. Rory has managed, Rory, the owner of Moab Motorsports, has managed to get a four-door Jeep with three wheels down the mountain, and now he's doing the same with a Toyota 4Runner with three wheels. Both of them lost their front passenger tires, and the cars don't run, either one. Unbelievable. And he got the first one down the mountain in, uh, down the mountain and on a flatbed wrecker in less than an hour, 10 minutes. He was already back up the mountain. <laughs> Pretty amazing. And this is not an easy trail in the dark with a vehicle in tow. Now, Rory and I were in communication with each other on radios. So whenever we actually had a signal, I would tell him to slow down so I could leapfrog past him and set up a camera. But setting up cameras back in 2018 in the absolute dark was difficult. And I did the best I could. But this video would be a waste if we didn't get it up. So it's up. I've been working on this all day long. So I hope you enjoy it. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. Or don't. Now, no offense to any other tow truck drivers, but the difference here is these roads are incredibly tight, incredibly steep, loaded with S-turns, and they're all on the edge of a cliff. So we're up in the mountains, in the high desert, as they call it. So it takes a whole different type of talent to get this done. And again, like I told both of the people that got towed out, Rory Irish is the guy for it. They don't call him the Rock Whisperer for no reason. I'll tell you that right now. 
me. Look at this road. I'm in a, I'm in an extremely well-equipped Land Cruiser, trying to follow. So this is the crazy thing about doing a recovery. You don't just drive straight out. There's all sorts of finagling and readjusting to make sure the truck doesn't get damaged, even with a truck that's as damaged as these two already were. You see what I mean? This is where we are. See the road? It's a long way. And he just successfully got not one, but two vehicles out. Two very heavy vehicles I might include. And both of them only had three wheels because that's how bad the accident was. This is the kind of stuff most people will be afraid to do in a really good four wheel drive. And He's doing it with a four-wheel drive strapped to the back, missing an entire tire. At this point in the game, I was incredibly tired. We had been at this for hours and hours and hours, and it was late. And I'm already thinking about where am I going to set up my truck to sleep for the night. But we're still out on Onion Creek Road. We still need to make it all the way back into Moab and stow these vehicles, etc., etc. It turns out I just parked my truck in Moab Motorsports' parking lot, threw up my tent, and called it a night. Six hours later, three trips in, three trips out. Rory safely got both of the incredibly disabled vehicles out. The Jeep left on a wrecker, and the Toyota's gonna leave on the trailer. Everybody's safe, everybody's good. That's a lot of work to do in one day.
try to drive her a little bit. The Wrecker's on the trailer. The Toyota's on the trailer. Everybody's safe. Everybody's hydrated. Coming down. <laughs> and now you're coming down, so stand by. Dude, seven hours. What a recovery that was. Seven hours, two vehicles, etc., etc. The following day, I came back to Onion Creek because I had never seen it before. And I was kind of freaked out by what I saw because it's like, I can't believe I was blowing down this road last night in the dark to go to this rescue and had no idea of how many drop-offs, cliffs, and 90-degree turns there were. So this is the exact same road we took last night. And oddly enough, I found my own footprints here, so... I must have been filming here as well. Now, we couldn't see any of this in the dark. But in the daytime, this is incredibly beautiful, but it's very precarious. And pulling two trucks down the mountain on a tow truck, and both of them are missing their entire front suspension on the passenger side, including the tire. And then, <laughs> crossing this bridge, when you know you exceed the limit. But what are you gonna do? We had to get the vehicles out, and we did. I'd have to say this is the most extreme extraction done by a civilian. Everybody got out safe. Moab is beautiful, but Moab is dangerous. This trail that we're on now is considered easy because there's no rocks you have to climb or anything like that, but the entire time you're on it, you're on a cliff. And as you can see, it's not really, really wide. And when we came up last night, the urgency, we were moving. We were definitely moving. Well, that was the Onion Creek head-on standoff guy tried to run away after he crashed recovery video and it was one of the first ones i made with rory if memory serves but i've got miles of footage that's never been seen and it seems like now's the time to put it up because why not you know what i'm saying i helped promote that channel for a long long time so it's about time it goes the other way for a bit if you follow what i'm saying at any rate if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below and I will try to return the favor. If you want to see the full drive-in video of me following Rory and my Land Cruiser, leave it in the comments below. I am out.